Yo, what is up guys, so for today we're talking about Destiny 2. Now, the thing I'm gonna be talking about today is gonna be a little strange because this is more of a, maybe this should be thi a thing. So, what? you probably already read the title and you're like, what the fuck are you talking about? So, let me explain myself. So, for the people who haven't seen or are hearing this, basically the title is probably gonna be like, Menagerie should revolve around the seasons. So, what do I mean by that? So, essentially, you guys probably know Menagerie by now. It's uh, an activity, a six-man activity, where you go in, complete a few activities, and then you beat a boss. I, I make it sound really simplistic, but in the game, it's fun as fuck. I still love doing Menagerie. Not when I'm grinding, obviously, but like to like just go in to, just to for one round, it's fun. I love it. So, when I mean Menagerie should revolve around the season, I don't mean like, oh, that one activity should just revolve around the season. I'm not, I don't mean it like that. What I mean is like, not just Menagerie, the Leviathan. So when I say Leviathan, I mean like, imagine a season where it's like, <sighs> season of the emperor, right? And it's all about finding out more about Callus and kind of living his like daydream of like us basically being his servant. And throughout the whole seasons, you find out more story about him. Like first season could be like season of the unknown or whatever. And we find out a few things about him that we didn't know because we serve him now. And at that point, we would have activities within the Leviathan as in like, oh, go into this part of the Leviathan and kill this guy because he's been giving me problems. So we do it. And it's not, it doesn't even have to be a raid. It could be like, that, that season's activity where we do a menagerie type activity and then kill the boss at the end. And then each season, it changes. So like, oh, well, well what was the first season? Oh, the first season was dope, man. The first season we ended up uh, going into the underbelly of the Leviathan and we had to solve a few puzzles and then kill, kill the boss at the end. But the thing is the boss at the end was connected to the hive gods. So we have to go like basically just something fun that can hold us our, hold our attention and then give us dope rewards that is like thematic like oh can you imagine if we got some of the emperor's like garments as armor like that we looked like royal guards and then the next season like season of the grunt or whatever and then that's when we have to do an activity where maybe we have to hold off an army coming in to fight like make it thematic with the season but also make it fun like dude like it would be really fucking cool can you imagine if we had like this little mini war happening where the cabal were trying to take back the emperor like by force or whatever obviously i have no lore knowledge so if you're like no this makes no sense lore wise insert enemy here whatever but it'd be cool if like we're fighting along alongside the cabal and the cabal's like like basically shielding us from all this crazy shit that's happening while we're going out there and actually doing more damage actually make it feel like a war like not um, like not like galactic level because obviously we're in fucking leviathan but the Levi Levi Le but the leviathan is big so at that point just go balls deep and that season you could be like oh what happened in the season of the grunt like yo it was wild dog it was like a war they're like but they'd be like what wait a minute what like yeah we went to like the, one of like the areas where ships can go in and out we had to stop like legit like a thousand fucking high because we we're just piling in and it was that would be fucking cool bro how are you not gonna tell me that would be cool that's what we're missing that that like oh fuck dog that season we don't have that because in season of the undying you know what comes close season of the undying oh we had a, a different boss at the end of the season what did a season of dawn have Oh, we had like this group activity that at the end of the season where we had to like donate stuff. We got a lot of XP though. So, you know, that was dope. A lot of weapons too. We don't have that. It would be so cool if they revolve shit around like one singular thing, like season of the fallen hunter, where we go back in time and find out like either the history of Cade or save Cade or just something. And through each season, it's more like episodic, like, oh shit, I would love that so fucking much. Like, 
Can you imagine? That would be so cool. Bro, I'm telling you, the Leviathan one really gets me hard. Like, that one really gets me. Because it's like, all right, what's this season going to be called? Oh, this one's going to be something aside from season. But it's going to be called, like, a care of the... Under the care of the Emperor or something like that. Oh, what is that? It's different seasons within that thing where it's all centered around the Emperor uh, Gaul. Not Gaul. Yes, Gaul. No, Gaul. Not Gaul. That's not Gaul. Gaul is bad. What's the Emperor's name? Whatever. The Emperor. Yeah. It would be cool because the first would be like, all right. The first season, you go into the menagerie and you're like, fuck, this is the menagerie. And then it just opens up and you're like, what the fuck? Bro, I know, I know I'm like getting really excited, but it would just be really cool if all these seasons just connected like that. Like nothing like, oh, like I wonder how they connect. No, fuck that secrecy shit. Do that secrecy in the fucking, like in the season of the, of the, emperor or whatever that would be cool because then it's like oh shit not on not only are we learn, learning about lore we're learning about so much other stuff like can you imagine a season of shadow keep where basically we're learning more about the story of shadow keep like beginning to end like all right shadow keep happened dope season of the undying something much different than what we actually got where it's like well it doesn't matter because shadow keep and then dying we're kind of like mixed together but the next season's like season of the shackled and we find out that we find out that savathun has like enslaved a bunch of people shackled them so to speak and then we have to free them and how we free them is doing an activity where we go like one activity to complete another activity to get to the main boss so to speak and there you see like a boss with people chained on the floor and then the, the way the mechanics would work is like oh you have to damage the boss so that the da so that the, their power can go down so that someone can go release the hostage and then have to go back into like a safe area before he like slams down or something like it's really not hard bro it's really not hard finding out interesting ways to do things it really isn't bungie if you're like all like creatively tapped out you have a community that would like write you fucking scenarios like crazy the only sh like the only negative i find in that is that like as an artist or as a creator i do understand that they probably wouldn't want help from outside sources they would probably want to do it in-house so i get that hire them <laughs> like it's not that hard like I, bro i promise you i have i have so much time on my hands now because i have a job which i don't do anything and all i think about is like what could be cool for destiny and immediately like season of the emperor would be dope where it's just like little mini seasons of like finding out more story about the emperor fleshing out the whole story or not the whole story but some of the story because you can do that for any character any location any insert here like you can do it for anything like season of the fallen you could have a whole fallen dlc where it's just us finding out more about the fallen and then us getting like armor from fallen that are fallen themed so like you could have armor or fallen armor and then like different levels of it it's just it's really wild to me that they're not tapping into that. They're really crazy to me. So me personally, it's not that, oh, Menagerie could revolve around a whole a whole season. It's the fact that they can revolve anything around a whole season. They can revolve anything in the game. Vanguard, like Crucible, Gambit, Shax, Zavala, Drifter, everything, everything. And not even do it like Season of the Drifter because that was pretty bad. I'm talking like, okay, what if he told us stories and we lived his stories like as memories? We could do that. Can you imagine some of the crazy shit he's seen? Like, bro, who was it? It was fucking uh, Saint-14. Fallen e ate babies bro during the fall they ate babies this is a rated t that game though so i do understand but still like it would have been cool if you can just relive quote unquote his memories and then i don't know i 
it just really kills me because I really love this world and I would have loved to see like a whole season where it just revolves around one topic and we're just like yo this is wild I do understand why they don't do that because maybe people are like oh I don't like the Emperor that much so I'm not gonna get into the season so I do understand that but let me know what you guys think in the comments below what would you guys do a season of I would honestly do a season of the Emperor season of fallen season of any any uh enemy faction for sure a season of factions bro i'm telling you i'd go buck wild with it but let me know what you guys think in the comments below am i fucking crazy i probably am but you guys will let me know in the comments below if you guys have any suggestions comments concerns let me know in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below and i will see you guys later